It's an honor to introduce Lucas Truccio to receive the Cardinal's Award from Your Excellency. And it's fitting that his wife, Jane, accompanies Lou to this dais. Jane and Lou are a team, and throughout their marriage, Jane has supported Lou in his many charitable and educational works. And as you'll read in the tribute book tonight, Lou has accomplished so much with the love and assistance of Jane. Like Jane, Lou believes that sharing his gifts is not an obligation, but it's a privilege, particularly if it means supporting the life of the mind. Now, to know Lou even slightly is to recognize for, that for Lou, la familia is everything. La familia and his great Italian family, his parents, his siblings, his wife Jane, their daughters, Ellen, Jenny, and Lizzie, their spouses, Nick, Noah, and Jimmy, and now his four grandsons, la familia. And we have not even started with the nieces and the nephews and the cousins and the aunts and the uncles. It's all part of this great family. Well, for those of us that are Jesuits, Lou and Jane are part of our family as well. He has lived up to the best of the Jesuit ideals as a man for others, a person who, as St. Ignatius Loyola urged, goes out to set the world on fire. Now, as you know, Lou attended Santa Clara University. And in those days, in the registrar's office, thank you. Uh, <laughs> When Lou and his classmates went to register for class, there was a sign that hung in the registrar's office, and the sign said that um, the ideal and purpose of Santa Clara was to mold men after the model of the man God, Jesus Christ, and thus form them to serve their fellow men, their country, and their God. Well, Lou and his classmates took these ideals to heart. Lou has served his fellow men and women throughout the profession of law, He's given to the community through his active support of Catholic education like Santa Clara, Mount St. Mary's, and the work of the Paulist Fathers. He's dedicated to the pastoral work of the church by which he serves God. So Lou, thank you for being a man for others and congratulations. Two minutes, one thought. It seems to Jane and me that the happiest people we know have a deep sense of gratitude. And it's not automatic. They work at it. Jane and I are rational, so we want to be happy. So we try to remind ourselves often to be thankful. Is there one gift we have received for which we are singularly thankful, which drives our gratitude? There is, and it's called life. We thank our parents who, with God's help, gave us life. We are thankful for the special life of our marriage, the lives of our daughters, our sons-in-law, and our grandchildren. We are thankful for our friends, many of whom are here tonight, and for all of you, for in some way, direct or indirect, your gift of life has added to ours, and ours, hopefully, to yours. In a special way, our thanks to the seminarians at St. John's, for whom this night is dedicated. For we see their example of the clear recognition that the gift of life carries a call and a responsibility for each of us to live life as God asks. Finally, perhaps the practice of gratitude becomes easier over time. 
If one remembers what the Jesuits for students of our generation asked us to write at the top of each page throughout our high school and college years. The letters AMDG, standing for Ad Maiorum Dei Glorium, all for the greater glory of God. So from the deep recesses of Jane's and my mind, heart, and soul, from, from our being, thanks to all of you with deep gratitude.